M0 FXP. Let's take a look at the Radtail 920. I call these shack in the box radios because they cover so many bands. They do the HF, VHF, UHF, PMR, Airband, and so on and so on. And they do it so well. And because of that, I call them shack in the box radios. Uh, and you can buy like this one here that I'm holding was about £40. Uh, that's made by Beige Ton, but you've got the Radtail version. And I do really respect Radtail for their firmware updates. They do them quick and they're, they're very thorough and they don't give up until they've pretty much ticked all the boxes. So I would definitely consider the Radtail option. Um, so here's the link for you. You do have that middle antenna. I'm holding the Beige Ton model, as you know, but look, there it is there and it's like a like a tire valve cap that screws on and it's an SMA connector and it works really well and the air band on these is is premium literally premium I've compared to the air band to you know radios like my D75 and my Icon 52 and this to me is on a par yeah uh, so that they've got that one right so okay scroll down through now you can look here at the frequency this covers uh, from actually from 2 megahertz to 30 megahertz then you've got all this long list here which covers again like I said air band marine band PMR GMRS medium wave long wave there it is there short wave I see it now CB now it will work as a CB and you can transmit um, it will, well, it will allow you to transmit when you go into super mode super mode you turn it off hold down the eight, turn it on, it goes into super mode, or you just, it's in the menu, yeah? But I don't recommend it. They're not designed really to be CB radios. They are actually really VHF, UHF radios with a massive, as you can see, long list for for receive. But many, many people saying, will they transmit on CB? I, I don't understand why so many ask that question. Because I've not met actually met many people that ever even use these style radios like the TK11 and on on cb bands anyway so look you can see that noise reduction dual display air band noaa weather which you have in the usa dual ptt which is nice yeah and i do recommend you go for this model with the dual ptt there is one uh, that hasn't got that that's got less buttons on the front this has got a dedicated as you can see vfo uh band button and a and b so it's definitely the one to go for and it's solid. It's a solid device with a with a nice long life battery. I'll get the milliamp hours if they show it. And of course, high mid. They say ten watts, but it's not very often we do find ten watts. But um, I think it's a firmware thing. If they get the firmware right, USB C charging that's in the bottom, and the light comes on. It's a nice chunky solid set. And I and I completely understand some people saying, well, hang on, I've got. The rad tail, the rad term is grab it. This one here, eight eight is it going to charge in it? This one here, and that does it. Yeah, it does, and it does it well. It's also a very good set. It's taller, and you've got almost like a triple screen. I get it. You're like, well, I've already got one. Okay, but at this price, you know, I would say if you love tinkering with handhelds, and um, save save buying junk food and get yourself something that's going to literally last forever because these things they're they're made of plastic and metal goes on forever sorry it's all gone to one side there i'm just scrolling their photograph so i put the link in this link is direct from radto it's actually not aliexpress i'm sure it'll be on aliexpress very very soon uh we'll have a quick look now see if they've uploaded the firmware yet yeah. you can see it's color screen LED on top. I'm um, not seeing torch, but that's good because unfortunately TK11 decided to try and keep the torch and they ended up with that three point jack in the middle. And this one looks like it does come with a a desktop charger. The one I had, the Badgeton didn't. Not that I, I don't really use them. If there's USB C, I don't tend to use them. They do have the normal twin pin connector, um, which you can uh, use your if your Bowfun cable on. It's not. A, it's just a a, a normal cable. On that and they do they they feel really nice and solid so scrolling back up put the link in it's a quickly check see if they've started uploading firmware yet because i am actually going to have a go at putting the firmware onto my uh, the beige ton um i've managed to save memory channels so that's going well hf mode i'll just say that before i forget you press and hold the zero it goes into hf mode now when you first go in okay 
in my in my junk room. Um, when you first go into HF mode, if you press menu, you only get five menus, but one of them, the top one, which is zero, that's the crucial one, because it starts off at broadcast radio, because a lot of people are saying, oh, I can't access broadcast radio. But when you go menu, it says FM, AM, LSB, USB, okay? And you literally just go down, select menu, and then choose lsb for example lower sideband and then it switches to the short band mode so as once you get to that sort of blue black screen and then the, the other thing i've been trying to do is save the memory channel in sideband mode there is a menu setting in here saying ssb memory channels so that means that the blue section that says unknown which i don't know if you can even see this it says unknown can be named just like the the rad tail so it's pretty much that radio in a different case but they've done a nice job of it if you ask me it's a very it's a very appealing looking radio and it's a bit smaller and chunkier in a good way the airband honestly it's, it's, i've made videos on it already so this link's in the description for rad tail uh quick look to see if the firmware is available yet software I'm not seeing it on there. I just emailed them saying, can you send me the CPS? Because I am going to try it on my Badgerton and I'll try and get some firmware because there's a couple of bugs on the Badgerton where you select upper sideband and it's actually lower sideband. There's nothing wrong with the hardware. The, the radio is working very well on HF bands. It's just that the labeling is backwards on the, you know, when you see it on the screen. So they, it's a very simple little tweak on the firmware. Uh, so anyway, give it a go. And uh, yes, we've all, buying too many radios because of my videos but hey you walk into a room with 10 of these you're never going to get bored bye for now make sure they're not all the same though 10 different ones